And that's it. We're just going to do it. Hello, hello. How are you all? I am Linda. I'm short in this little scenario here, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, and let me see if I can't get in a little bit closer here. We'll get rid of this. Obviously, it's live with Linda. I'm Linda. <laughs> I'm in my shop on Cape Cod. If you're new to me, if you're not, thank you for sitting through it every time, um, even on replay. Um, if you're able to, come shop our store in Hyannis Village in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. We're open year-round, except this time of year we're closed Mondays and Tuesdays, soon to be when, uh, Sundays too. And, um, but we're available online all the time, all the time. And unless I'm just not in, in town or something, I mean, the, the orders go out really quick. So um, it's, it's good to shop small. I don't have a shipping day. <laughs> So I uh, had some fun, I had some fun with the IOD tonight, and um, let me just, you know, get down to it here. I hope, let's see, we get into comments. It says we're connected, yay, 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 yay. Um, but we had some fun. So this has to get glued down yet, but I haven't even, like, cleaned this plate yet, so it's a thing. We'll show you how I do it. We'll, we'll, we'll just do it, right? That's like a perfect match, by the way. Sandbar is like a perfect match to the background of these transfers. I mean, off in the slightest way that a little, a slight glaze will totally, totally mesh. You won't even see it. Thank you, Shannon. Welcome back. Um, I'm wondering, this should be long enough. I think so. I'm going to be daring because I want to I want to get the rest of this done, Shannon. How are you doing? Is it cold by you? No, it isn't cold. What am I thinking? Well, you're kind of north, aren't you? Or do I do I always get that wrong? I don't, you know, excuse me, my brain, you know. Um, I had a piece out that still had some gold on it. So if you missed any of this, um, it's on the original um, Live with Iron Orchid Designs. And if you're watching from our website, thank you so much. <laughs> you have no idea. You're the best, but I know you can't comment. I can't see your comments. And if you're on YouTube, I'll be able to see your comments and I really appreciate you watching. Um, and the more people we get on YouTube, um, the more I can go live in a public audience rather than just my subscribers. Um, but I need a lot more peoples. A lot more peoples. So this one, um, we, we, okay, let me just go ahead and again, Shannon, we're going to do this in some sort of order. We're going to do it. So to get to that, oh, oh, I put my finger right in the glue. Let's see what happens with that after. Um, let's carefully lift this up and put it on a something. Here, we could put it on here. It's not big enough. That other piece would have been big enough, but I put my paint on there. So we're going to just carefully put this here for now. And let's talk about prepping these things. So it's a plastic, but the prep is always pretty much the same. It's, it's, it's not too much different in any circumstance. Um, you want to, um, well, clean it first, but it's okay. And then you're going to clean it again. But again, it's okay. Um, we're going to use alcohol to clean. You can use whatever you like to clean. I'm just using, it's just a beat up old piece of sandpaper. I think it was a hundred grit cheap sandpaper we got left over from my father-in-law's basement, I believe. Um, so just, you know, using up, using up stuffs in Washington State near Tacoma. Okay, I thought you were in California is what I was thinking. So didn't you got, are you um, the ones that you got a ton of rain? 
right? Did I see that right? I was actually home for a couple days, and I actually saw a little bit of news. I hope that you're okay where you're at. So anyone watching that's local, let me just put it out there to the world, okay? Um, I'm doing big discounts on my furniture. Um, we're trying to decide what's happening here. And even if we're moving, Joe wants me to move the big stuff. So my furniture pieces, as much as it breaks my heart, um, I'm going to do 50% off, okay? I just, even, even the really pretty two-piece half-round table with the mirror that was hand-built, signed by the guy who built it, signed by the lady who originally painted it, now signed by me. Everyone loves it, but um, it's still here because it's a commitment. It's a large set. So um, someone can make it work. I don't want to separate them. Um, I don't want to move them. They're too darn heavy. I also have a dresser that I've had. I don't know why it's still here, Shannon. Um, it's dark gray. It's I think it's amazing. Um, I guess if it just doesn't sell at half off, I'm going to bring it home because I really do love it. I did the paint pulled tech. Um, t uh, what's the word? Technique on top. And it's the gravel road base. I put this, the roping mold on it. I put a bunch of like seashells and seahorses at the top. It's an old 1959 maple dresser. You know that, you know, they're very plain in its, in the, in its original state. But um, now I think it's really nice. I kept the traditional hardware, but it's got the, um, the molds on there and it's all painted in the same gray. So you don't really, it doesn't scream traditional hardware on there. And then with the molds on there, you don't even notice that it's the traditional hardware. And then it's just sort of trimmed out. The molds and the hardware is all trimmed out in like a, a brass or bronze. So um, it's not loud. And in fact, there's a stencil down from the top drawer down to the bottom drawer of a, the seahorse. You know, the seahorse that I have, that beautiful stencil. And um, it's one of those things kind of like that, the vanity top. If you look at it in a certain way, you don't even see the stencil. And then some, at some point you look at it, the light hits it the right way, and you see the whole stencil. I think it's a really cool piece. Only that it's a dark gray, but it's such a beautiful gray. I love gravel road but um, apparently people here on Cape Cod are too afraid to go dark gray but you know I think they would do black so go figure um, that and coupled with the fact that yeah I'm on Main Street <laughs> and we don't get a lot of people down here we're on the far west end of Main Street so we had a craft fair down the street the other day with the big holiday stroll um, they clocked 10,000 people I had three people come in so there's that. Um, so that's why a lot of these things don't sell. It's, you know, a lot of these things, it takes someone looking for a piece that can use a dark gray dresser. I have it on Marketplace, no bites, you know, not other than the, um, the, 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 the typical, you know what I mean. Will you take, will you take 100? Will you take 50? You know, so, oh well. You can't fall in love with the pieces. And I love it so much that, yes, I could repaint it and just paint it white, and it would probably sell. But I, I really think it's a great color. It's a, it's, a, it's a piece that has like that little bit of bling that a lady would love, but a guy certainly would not mind having that in their room at all. So, you know, go figure. So... I'm trying, uh, so whatever I'm doing with this, this tree, I'm either doing the transfer on the outside of it or I'm doing the, um, the same um, stamping with the foil here. It is gorgeous, Shannon. I really love it. I just don't, under, you, you know, you can't, you can't pick these things. I once had, um, when we had, uh, when I first started out, there was two gals that rented, there's like, I keep looking over there that I have like a little raised area. And sometimes, I used to call it the staged area. Now I keep calling it the loft. I don't know why, it just seems 
easier to call it the loft. It's not, it's like maybe four inch step, not even. Um, and they used to share the space. She, the one gal had this 1700s hutch top and she did a beautiful job with the shabby chic paint on it. This was, you know, eight years ago. Um, and I said, oh, that's not gonna last long. That not gonna, that gonna, it's gonna be here and it's gonna be gone. And nope, mm -mm, that thing sat here like three months, four months at least, maybe probably longer. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand how this stuff works. Um, and I had posted it on the marketplace pages and things like that. And of course, that was my lear lesson learning one that you have to put quick sale because I have a store. And these people were arguing with me, like, I live in Boston or I live in New Hampshire and I don't get out to the Cape, there, but, but I'll pay you the money. And I'm like, but I can't let it sit here for months. And I can't even tell you how many times I've had people leave me money as a deposit and never show up and never get and ask for their money back. I've called, begged them, like, I, I don't want to keep your money. Like, it's not right. And they don't, I don't even get a call back. Nothing. People buy furniture and they say, I'll be, I'll be back next weekend. And, and they don't come back. It's like I have to. So I've gotten smart now where I'm like, okay, you need to come. I need a contact way to contact you and you need to come at a certain point because we're going to get ugly at that at, at, after that certain point i don't understand don't understand it it's the economy i guess i guess a lot of people are um, saying the same thing um it's a little more exaggerated here you know but it is what it is not complaining i love you guys um but you know will i be pivoting Probably. I'm hoping to get that other space and we'll maybe do more crafting. Um, I'm really thinking about the clothes and I've had a pile of clothes. And this is my background anyways. This is something I've, if it wasn't creating, it was always been, you know, well, creating fashion was my original love. I was accepted to FIT in New York City. Uh, met Joe. Love you, Joe. But you know the story. Didn't go to FIT. Um, so, and I'm, now I'm just cleaning with the alcohol. So what this is going to do is it's going to get off any oils and it's not going to leave a residue because it's going to evaporate. And now this part that I'm going to be painting, that is good to go. Oh, but I just had another idea, Shannon. What if I didn't? All right, I'm going to be doing another one. <laughs> Because this just idea just came into my head and it's super pretty. <laughs> so on my next one, I'm going to do that stamping on the back part of this. Okay. Put that old Christmas tree over it. Right? And then we're going to do the transfers on the edge. Or molds. I need I can't, I can't stop myself. And Joe's like, don't do any more plaques and signs. No one's coming in to buy them. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. So we're trying to pivot. We're trying to figure this out, you guys, because this has been really, really, really bad. Really bad. And we're not even into January. That's when it gets terribly sad here. So I can't even imagine what January and February holds for us. All right. So we've, Prep, we've tacked it, we've cleaned it, and now I can put my mold back on. That stamp will be so pretty, but now that I got it all scratched up, it just, I guess I could paint it, but now I got this mold, I, I, I gotta put it on, because it's been kind of drying a little bit, and so, you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna do this one, and I got a stack of chargers, so. Joe, if you're watching, just look the other way. I'm making chargers. <laughs> and I, you know, and we get into more, um, I want to get the classes going again because, you know, I mean, people are going out to eat. They want to be entertained. It, the other thing is, too, here, Shannon, um, 
I don't know how much you've heard about hyenas. Um, you know, the Kennedys live not even a mile that way. Um, the water's like right there, not even a mile, okay? And um, it's just not, you know, nothing's the way it used to be. Joe was always saying, oh, it used to be so nice. It's kind of, it's like the city of the Cape, and so local people, they kind of frown. If they're coming to Hyannis, it's like going to the city. You'll go there for the, for the restaurants, um, but you, you, you don't go to the city for shopping anymore. So it's kind of what's happened here. That and this whole one-way thing, we're at the end of Main Street, um, and by the time they get to this end, they're done. But even on, on Saturday with the stroll, I had a gal come in, and she's like, you know, I live right down the street. I knew exactly where she was going with it. Said, you never knew we were here. People in other towns say, oh, I've been meaning to come by. It's the people right here, work the, or live right here, that think we're new when they come across us. I don't understand. I just don't understand all these things. But I'm trying not to give up. You know, it is what it is. This is what I do. <laughs> if I don't do this, what do I do, Shannon? So I, I do like video gaming, and Joe is like not having that. It's the ADD in me. It's like my cookies. I love, I love, I love video games. What can I say? I'm a sick person. <sighs> All right, so we're totally stretching out this clay, but we're going to fix it. Okay, we're going to try and center this best we can. And we're going to pinch this all back together. Now, maybe with the other one, when I have more time and I can kind of think this out, I might try to incorporate some of these lights from like behind into this tree. I might have to cut out a hole on the back side to hold the battery thing, right? Are you following me? And when these first came out and it wasn't even public to you guys yet, Aaron Celio did a project with this where he actually drilled holes, I think where these little ornaments are maybe, and he um, put in the fairy lights from behind. And that's a totally cool look. Even if, if, they, if some were still, if some of the lights were still on the back side, especially if you did it like out of resin and you had a little bit of a lift, you would have the light coming from behind and in the front, it'd be super pretty, right? Not sure how much rain I've been inside with COVID. You still got that, girl? I forgot you had that. Bobby, are you here? Bobby, I, you know, I have been, you know, worried about her too because... It's been a hot minute for her. But, you know, I, I try not to be nosy. <laughs> you know, maybe I just wasn't her, you know, someone she wanted to watch anymore. That's okay. You know, it's, everyone's entitled to find new friends. But, you know, you wonder. Let's see, I'm just trying to clean up the edges a little bit. This is going to get paint behind it. So when we do this with the stamp behind it, we're going to have to be a little bit careful. I might even try to hold off painting the, uh, um, I mean, putting the glue on the tips here and just lift them up and glue them after I set it down. That might be the trick. But I think that will be super. 
that this is what happens to me, though. The idea is they come into my head at the weirdest moments. And that is definitely something I'm going to do because I just had this visual. It's going to be so pretty. And again, even though we're, we're pressing down, we're going to pinch it all back in on itself. And we should have no cracks this way. I always kind of sh wince a little bit whenever I see someone, why do I have the cracks? I do these videos all the time, right? I've been doing videos for Iron Orchid Designs for probably five years now. And every time we do molds, I say the same thing. <laughs> we talk about how to glue them down, right? But, you know, it is what it is. Mama called, so I missed a few minutes. That tree is so pretty, isn't it? It is. It is. So did you hear the part where I had my, my, my amazing idea? And it's going to have to get done, but now it's got to get done in a different way than this one. Because I already tacked the back of this, tack sanded it. Did you hear what I want to do with it? I'm so excited. I might have to do it tomorrow. I'm so excited for that. That and then I was saying how Aaron... I might try to f figure out, maybe not with this tree, with the other tree that I'm going to do. I'm going to, you know, when I get a hot minute to myself, just to kind of think things out. The, the, the logistics of it, you missed the idea. So, imagine if you will. This behind this. But I already tack sanded this, so it's not going to look so pretty. That's why I got to do a whole nother one tomorrow, just for that. I can't, I can't, I can't even. It's going to be so stinking pretty. <laughs> it just... Okay. So this can be any color. And we can paint it now, even though obviously the clay is still damp, but it's a perfect time to paint it because it's still movable. I can seal it and it should help with the amount of cracking as well since it, it's sealed. That's what they say anyways. Um, but I don't know what colors I want to do. If I do the transfers on the edge... Probably do like happy colors, or maybe I just do the gold. The gold back here with like the green tree and the red, and the, that's I think what I'm doing. But to save myself, we're going to have to base coat it in sort of a golden color, chalk mineral paint, like we did for that video. Right? It, it, it is, right? <laughs> I can't wait to do it. That's so pretty. But like, I have these lights. I don't know if you saw the end of the other one. There's these pretty lights. There's ones that have pearls I could add to this. Just sort of swing it back and forth with a little dab of glue maybe. That would certainly work. Um, just maybe. We'll see. But on the other one, if I figure out the logistics, I, I might actually put the um, lights from behind and do it when I'm gluing the tree down and have the lights come through it like Aaron did and have the battery pack behind. We'd have to drill those holes so that, you know, the, the wire fits through. 
we'll see. We'll see if I could figure all that out. So yeah, um, let's do that foil. So I got those stamps figured out on that table. I didn't have to paint the whole thing, yay. I just fixed that area. I know, because it's, it's the holidays. We gotta do lights, right? Shannon's saying, um, yes, lights would be so cool. All right, so let's get this all covered so I don't have to worry about the adhesive anymore. I love this Dixie Shine. It's such a glam gold. I mean, if you're going to do gold, do gold. I don't like when they have these golds that are like mousy. Am I right? I mean, there's been a couple times where I want a mousy gold, but usually when I want gold, I want gold. And I always have such a hard time finding that beautiful, decadent gold. You just keep putting this foil over till it's not, there's nothing sticking anymore. So you know you've gotten everything down. And some of this has been on for a good couple of hours, and it's still, I don't, I know a lot of the glues, the adhesive that I've used, you know, they don't re ever cure. Some do. Um, so I'm, I'm still playing with the, Dix, the stick with me. That's the adhesive you, you buy for the, um, the Dixie Shine. And the Dixie Shine does come in different colors, and it's still on sale. Just going to keep putting this pieces over till everything's covered to use up all this shine that we can. Right? It's cold in here still. Hey, Liz, how are you? Actually, the almond gold, which is rich without being shiny. Okay. You what? So, what is the almond gold? What product is that? Liz Clark is saying actually, like almond gold, which is rich without being shiny. And Shannon said, oh, good, we're talking about my other table pro project from my live last week on the weekend um, where I did all that stamping and stuff, and then I um, sat back and realized that my, some of my original area didn't come out as bold as the latter part of it. Um, and if you go to that video on Facebook and see the comment to, that I answered to Shannon, it shows the discrepancy in colors. And so, um, yeah, but now it's all fixed. I'll try and show you in a minute. I still have to finish with the glazing on it with the gloss and the mica powder. So. Isn't this pretty? And we don't have to worry about some of this dead space, but this is kind of bigger than the other, so I might just try and fit a little something in there. Maybe tomorrow real quickly, but we'll see. I'll live with it and decide. Let's finish our molding now, because I'm, I'm not concerned about the rest of that. Uh, Liz Clark, let's see. Oh, uh, Liz Clark, uh, let's see. What sealer will I put over the foil? So this question was asked, Liz, um, in my IOD live. If you feel you need to, to seal it, like if you're going to use these as chargers and not have like <laughs> molds on there, I would actually prep it like I did the back of this 
I would actually um, put the, after I prepped and cleaned it, I put slick stick on it and it dried for a couple days. It just needs to dry overnight. Um, and then I would paint, if you're into Dixie Belle, aubergine would be a beautiful color similar to this pur rich purple color. And then do this foil and stamp it, the stamping, whatever, with the adhesive and the foil, and then seal with a gloss. That way, or even gator hide, it won't be as shiny as the gloss. And I think with the gold and everything, that shine, at least on this side, on this edge, would be really pretty. Only because I'm not certain that gloss, any, you know, any top coat is really going to adhere to this. You really want something that's meant to stick to these shiny surfaces like metals, glass, formicas, things like that, these really sealed surfaces. And this is a, a, a highly shiny plastic. Um, and even if I wanted to tack it to, 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 to paint it, um, to put the, the gloss on, then you have that messy scratched coat like this and that wouldn't be very pretty either. Can you see the difference there between the shine and the scratched part? So, that's what I would do. But the, my piece, I'm not, it's obviously I'm adding these molds, so this isn't going to be a piece usable with on your tablescaping. But if you don't put the molds on, that's what I would do. If you want to, and then of course with any chargers anyways, you're not really eating on them. They're only there for looks, so you just wipe it down and, and, um, and at the sink after, right? That's what I would do um, if it were me. But, you know, you're welcome to, to experiment, but that's my suggestion. All right. So that said, um, I do have to prep this piece then for painting, don't I? So let's get our slick stick out. Why do I feel like I just spilled something? <laughs> I just heard like water drip. I don't even, I don't know if I want to know. I'm just gonna. I know nothing. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to um, change my batteries for a second, you guys, um, because these batteries are going to go dead really, really fast, I think. Hold on. I got to grab new batteries. Second set tonight. Um, but you know what? I'm just going to reuse these because these still had some life in them. I'm just so tired of doing these, especially for IOD, <laughs> and then losing my sound. <laughs> it's, right, Shannon? It's a thing. All right, so bear with me one second. So the residual foil glue, Liz is saying um, she got it, thank you. I always seem to get residual foil glue. Just keep putting your foil over it. Just keep putting it on and give it a good scrub. Then if that doesn't work, um, I hear people have luck with um, putting a little cornstarch and giving it a little scrub with that, maybe with the tip of your finger lightly. Try that. Just saying. It's like, right? <laughs> All right, so, slick stick. Dixie Bell has two primers. Something's going down, you guys. They are out of boss, apparently, for ordering for us, and they're out of slick stick. <laughs> You're welcome, Liz. Liz said thank you. Um, just between you and me, something's going down. They said we have to pay attention. They're going to tell us on the 8th. I hate when people do those teasers. Like, I want to know now, now, right? You, 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 you tease me. Now I want to know. Uh, so, slick stick is S for sticking, B for bonding. So, boss is for bonding. I mean, blocking. 
bonding and sticking are the same thing. Um, oh, dear Lord. So slick stick is no joke, obviously. And you guys, if you follow me, you know I do everything in my power to keep these lids from getting too stuck to the necks. I know, right? Esmeralda is saying, right, tell me now. It's such a tease. Oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> I need, where's my little hammer now? I have a little hammer around. And hopefully I don't crack this lid. So it does its job well. It's meant to stick to this kind of stuff. So, <laughs> this is not getting primed on video tonight. Not gonna happen. <laughs> oh boy. So, let's see, sometimes, if you can get these little keys, the paint can keys, and you can get it underneath the neck enough and kind of wiggle, sometimes that's, oh, right there maybe. Oh, I'm going to try not to crack this lid because I'm running out of lids. So start saving your lids is what I've been finding. Save the lids. When you throw out your old paint, save the lids. Clean them out best you can and save them because some point this slick stick does end up getting to the point and I can shake this I don't want to do that to my top coats I can shake my primers in my paints I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a workout now no longer hot. I mean, no longer cold. I'm not hot yet, but I'm not so cold. So there's a good point to there's a good part to this. Try not to hit your hammer on here, okay, on the top. Don't ask me how I know that. Just saying. You use the paint key under the lid. Yeah, it's not working either. And it's not like a chalk style paint where you can sit this underneath in water and have it um, do you any good. Um, it's just, oh yay. Okay. So slick stick does its job. Whew. My hands are going to hurt for two days now, at least. Probably a week. Oh, it's not easy getting old. All right, so let's get a brush. And we're going to, since we've got this cleaned and we've got it tacked, I'm going to hit this. And I'll probably do some sort of border on this, so I'm not going to be too super careful with how I do this circle. I kind of like the idea of that rim on there. And my glue is sort of crusted over, so I don't have to worry too much about that mixing in. And I, I did say on my IOD video that um, typically when I'm working with plastics and metals and all the shiny stuff. I do prefer to use, uh, the, my, my safety go-to is to use the silicone glue, like an E6000. Um, but I'm trying out the, um, people have sworn by the, um, the tight bond. It does say it does many surfaces, like ceramics and all that. So we're, you know, we're going to try it. And it shouldn't be too much of a concern because it's, it's, it's going to be a wall piece. And there's so much glue under there with the, the size of this mold. I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty confident. 
Now my beading on my other one might be a different story. So whenever you're doing a primer, try to get before it sets, try to get it as smooth as possible. Because any paint strokes you leave here, no matter how fancy and nice you do your painting after, you're going to see these strokes. So word to the wise, and it does self-level a bit, but it's, it, there's no miracle for this. It's a primer. Primers are primers. Jackie! Oh, so Liz said, um, arthritis in my hands are always use tools for opening everything. I hear you. And I think that's what's starting to happen with mine. My mother had it horribly. And they used to do studies on her because they never believed like the holistic stuff was actually a thing. And so Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit used to periodically call her in and kind of question her and study her a little bit, you know. Um, and she was actually part of that whole, you know, they do the gold shots for arthritis. Like they were, they didn't believe that stuff, but she would wear the Indian jewelry and the hands that, I mean, the fingers that she, you know, when she started wearing them and realized it was helping her, she never really took them off. But other fingers just, um, they got too bad and she couldn't put the rings on. And those fingers got so, you know, sore and not disfigured, but they were, you know, very swollen, a little bit disfigured. Um, I've seen worse, but you know what I'm saying. But she always had, like... She, she never gave in, man. She always would try to do it on her own. And finally, when she got older, it just got hard. So we got her like one of those little tools that like cuts things. Like a, it's like a tin snip. It's got the, the box cutter in it. It's got the jar opener in it, the multi-tool thing. And she used that all the time. But she fought it. She fought it. She had strong hands even though she had arthritis. I'm just waiting. This is like between the, the, the Alzheimer's and my mother's side of the family, right? Like who else does this? Like you think about this stuff or do you just like, nope, not, not going there? What do you guys do? So I think like, okay, when's the arthritis? Is this pain? Is this the arthritis coming? You know, is this brain fart? Is this the Alzheimer's coming? You know, because, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a thing I had. Both sides had really bad arthritis. My grandmother had it in her back and hips, I think. My dad had his hips replaced. My grandmother had her hips replaced a few times. Um, my mother had it in her wrists and her hands. So I find myself saying, well, my sore hands, is it, is it normal or is it arthritis? You don't know. Or when you wake up that one morning and it's just a little extra achy, right? Or you try to get out of the couch. I try to get out of the couch sometimes and Joe's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> just don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> right? Right, Shannon? And then I figure skated for many years. And I can't even tell you the abuse my hips took. <laughs> I used to try to get this one. I never got it before. I just never got it. Um, I kept landing in the splits. I would land and then out, out my legs would go. And then there was one time where I was so close to landing my jump the first day that I kept trying it and kept trying it and kept trying it. And then the next day I'd come in and I'd try it again. And, I'd, and I kept falling the same way until finally my, and, and my, my coach would be like, you, 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 you got to stop. And I'm like, I can't. I'm like, I'm so close. I know I've got the rotations. She's like, you got the rotations. And then she took a, um, a, she got a video of me and I was literally spinning in the air like this. 
And once I saw it, like she told me about it, but once I saw it, I was like, oh, okay. Boom, landed it. But the problem is the damage was already done. I still have a divot in my muscle. I just tore the muscle so bad in my thigh from landing in that one spot over and over and over and over again. So this has one good coat of slick stick on it. And if it needed to, I could put another coat on in a couple of hours, but it's so cold in here, it's gonna, it would probably take a little longer. Um, even though it'll be dry, it's, you wanna make sure it's dry all the way through. But I feel good about this, this coverage, and so we're gonna let this sit overnight, and tomorrow is another day. Um, I might even let it sit a little bit longer because it's on pretty thick and I want it to, I, I don't want this peeling off. So we're going to maybe give this a couple of days. All right. So that's that. Um, let's finish putting this paint on here because this is all drying up. And that's not good. I could be wasting my paint. And we know I don't like that. So I don't want to do full out brush strokes into that transfer. I'm going to tap it on. And if we cover up some letters, that's OK. But I don't want like a full out straight brush stroke in there. I'm going to try not to cover the leaf there. Getting old is better than the alternative. You got it, girl. Joe says that all the time. It's better than the option. Another day this side of the grass is a good day. Oh, we didn't finish our, our beading mold there. Let's get this, this half done, because i got to use up this, this paint. I'm going to go ahead and base coat it in this, but it's probably going to get um, the gold on there. And I'm not going to try to scratch on the foil, I don't think. We'll probably just try and hit it with this. We'll see. This is that folk art treasure gold. I gotta try that posh pigments gold. Is it that good? Has anyone used it? You can't wear rings, knuckles larger than your fingers. This is Liz. Uh, runs in the family. Yep, yep. But she would wear, she had the Indian jewelry on before they got that bad on some of her fingers. And those fingers stayed pretty normal. It was the other fingers that, that had the problems. And then she used to do this thing. Um, the hospital used to like, like they, they just couldn't figure it out. Um, for her wrists, I don't know if there's a way to look it up. See, they used to go to this holistic gal. She was in Canada. Like I said, this is in Detroit area. So going to Canada was not a big deal. Uh, you just had to go over the one of the bridges or the tunnel in Detroit, right? Um, and then went to Windsor, and this gal um, used to do something called iridology. And she did um, a chart based on looking at your eye and the patterns. And it was amazing what she could detect or diagnose. You know, until she got run out of town, um, she was doing, she was having a lot of luck with at least some cancers, I think. And, you know, no one was going to have that happen. So um, that was the last we heard of her. She even, like, left for California, and we stayed in touch, but, again, they ran her out. But she had the best cold pill. Shannon's probably heard me say this before. Like, you would take this pill, and it was like a hunker. Like, it smelled like total herbs. 
like you were just sucking down a big hunk of tea. And I say tea because tea to me is medicine. That's what we grew up at. You took chamomile to calm you down, um, help you sleep when you had a cold. Peppermint tea, I think, um, helped with your stomach, or was that the chamomile? I don't remember. I know peppermint's supposed to help with headaches, but, you know, there was different teas for different things. And it just, to me, like, and then, of course, you know, walk, going into Alma's was like a big herbal store, like walking into a bag of tea. So um, it, to me, it's like a, going to the doctor, having tea. <laughs> now, a little chai sometimes, if I don't have a choice, you know, I can be a big girl in the tea house, as long as it's something like a cinnamon or, but like Earl Grey or the regular, like a black tea, green tea, just mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'd, I'd, I'll have it if I have to, if I don't want to embarrass myself, but it's just not my thing. It's medicine. Okay. That's a really close match, you guys. All right. Let's finish this mold. I have a little bit left here. It shouldn't crack yet. We'll find out. <laughs> it's getting pretty stiff. All right. Oh, it got dented. Oh, well. I'm not wasting it. And again, we got to clean up my glue mess. Do you see my mess? You write about tea or herbal smell, right? Did you have to take teas to when you were young too? Like. <laughs> I get it, and that's great for people who like tea, but I, it just, it's medicine. It's medicine. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, that lady, though, she was amazing. She, like, she'd sit there, and she'd, like, look in your eye and write in and put in her chart. and Uh-huh. And they, they, they decided to test her, sadly enough, with my aunt. She had gotten a diagnosis that um, an infection had settled into her liver. And there wasn't anything the doctors could do. So they were like, well, let's try Alma, right? But they decided to test her. They didn't want to, like, bias her. So they didn't tell her anything. They just they didn't say they'd been to a doctor or anything. And she did her thing, you know, looking at the eyes, examining everything, you know, doing her chart. And then she pulled her aside in a room and was like, I'm really so sorry, but um, there's nothing we can do. You're going to need a new liver. Like, she never got it because by the time she got on the list, all the arteries and veins, whatever, that they, could, they, they would look at using to do this surgery for, you know, they could get the liver, but the, 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 the arteries and veins leading to it were all just, so she didn't live a long life. It's very sad. She had the best laugh. Oh, I remember her. She was fun. So, you know, I'll keep adding, I'll, pick, I'll keep doing my molds, and we'll, we'll finish up tomorrow. I'm going to finish this up. That other one's got a set. Let me grab this camera and show you the table. It got fixed. Okay, I'm, I'm so sorry about this mess that you're probably going to experience here, but it is what it is here. I got my table. <laughs> Okay, gets dry. I got the, I got clothes there. Like I said, I got, I want to play with. Um, but here's, it got done. 
and it's all pretty darn even now. And I love how this stencil kind of comes and goes. It's really pretty. Right? Oh, Shannon, I, I know what I can do. I can show you that dresser. I got to turn my lights on up front. Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me. Mad scientist at, at work again. So here it is. So see it? It's a pretty color. Right? I'm going to do half off now. So it's got that pulled paint technique on top. Of course, our beautiful decoupage shells that our gal Sherry does. Night lights, magnets, and ornaments. So cute. But so it's got the beautiful pulled paint technique. It's got the molds. It's got the molds, right? And I don't know if you can tell, like, see it? It just kind of comes and goes. So it's not in your face nautical. I just think it's really, 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 really pretty. But it's been here way longer than it should have been. So, oh, I, sh I had that wrong way, didn't I? Sorry, ladies. So it's that way. Whenever I go up my camera, my phone, I'm walking around, I want to put it vertical. So that's that. I think it's really pretty. It's not like brazen nautical, but you know. And that's the other piece I was telling you about. I can't believe that's still here. My coffee bar was a risk. That one I knew, it was a risk. The colors are kind of traditional and it's a piece where it's not tall. It's not a, a high piece, but you can get a good discount on it. It's got lights, so. It'd make a great bar or a coffee bar or an armoire. You might want to get a deeper shelf for that, but so hopefully, you know, we don't have to move with these. That's that. That's that, guys. I, give me one second here. <laughs> Hop over all my little piles. And thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate it. If there's anything you see, um, a question, uh, you have a question about, please let me know in the comments if you're too embarrassed, but please don't be embarrassed because if you have a question, someone else does too, even in replay. Um, I'll get back to you. Um, you can also DM me if you're really embarrassed, but there's nothing embarrassing. We're, we're casual. Um, obviously and um let's see oh so, okay we got a bunch of comments the stamping looks so good really thank you um they really let's see they really have they really right about the herbal smell they do help yes the herbs do help the stamping looks so good thank you the dresser is super cool right i thought so shannon's saying all this stuff stunning thank you shannon and i love that too those people need to get in there and spend some money <laughs> if they have money i guess i don't know it's 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 a dilemma here in hyannis it's 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 kind of like the city of the cape so it's got you know all the services and things like that um i just saw a a, a, a a store post he was shopping for his stroll in chatham now if you're not familiar i'm assuming you're on the west coast you don't really know that the legalities and the little nuances here but a lot of people heard of hyannis because of the kennedys but there's Areas like Chatham, where the um, they filmed, um, what was the name of that movie? Uh, the Greatest, Finest Hour or something, right? Um, where the, the, they did a rescue of a freighter that was in a storm. Not, not the, the, the great, the, the whatever, the one with Mark Wahlberg and all that. Another one it was set in like the 40s. That was filmed in Chatham. It's a very rich old town, um, and most people would think, oh, well, they're closed, um, and they're going to be dead, right? In Falmouth, there's another town called Falmouth, um, cute little village, 
a little bit smaller than Hyannis Village, but not much. Um, they are more year-round and probably more vibrant than our Hyannis. So it's a shame, really. It really is a shame. Um, it's, it's just got like this, kind of like that, you know, the, the scarlet letter on it or something. Um, so they're, you know, and, and I suppose people in those big mansions are using designers and not shop on the streets themselves. But, you know, it is what it is. So we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, uh, you know, you're talking about great movie. Is that where you are? So I am, so as the, let's see, you're looking at it this way. So the cape kind of bends up. Oh, I know how to show you. I've got a wooden shape of a, a Cape Cod right here. I gotta paint these one of our one of our videos, right? So for you, the Cape goes this way. So Chatham's like right here, and this is really this used to be land, but it's really not land anymore. And then there's the island um, way off here. It's called Nantucket, um, and then over here is Martha's Vineyard. Um, Chatham's over here at the elbow, and I'm more like in the middle, okay? Um, so they're further out, believe it or not, way out here, and um, yeah. So, you know, Falmouth is like over here. It's, it's a thing here. Actually, the cape kind of comes up this way more, and there's like this elbow would be where like Falmouth is. Um, you know, it, 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 it's, and then it's the far west end of Main Street. So, like I said, people that live in town don't even know we're here. Um, it's just kind of, it's, it's getting exhausting at this point. So we'll see. We'll see what we do. I think I want to um, maybe do more with the DIY and, and just have more fun with things. I love painting furniture. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's going to be hard to find a space that gives me the room to do the this and the that and do the furniture, big furniture pieces too. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We're, 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 we're going to make it, hopefully make it work. We'll see. Um, we're doing a lot of discussions on how we pivot. Oop. Um, you're talking about great movie. Okay. You're Googling it all tonight. Okay. You do that girl. Um, but like I said, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to pivot where we need to pivot and hopefully make this work the way we need it to work. Um, hopefully we jump on tomorrow. And again, if you're not familiar with us, look us up on all the different social media. We're, it's, it's easy to find us, everything slash Seporium. So Facebook.com slash Seporium, Instagram.com slash Seporium. YouTube, you have to put it at Seporium after the YouTube.com slash. Um, so, and TikToks, Seporium. And that's it. That's it for tonight. I am going to finish this up and get my little bum out of here and warm up. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
shopsiporium.com. If you're not familiar with us, um, you can go right there, hit shop um, in the menu, or if you want to learn more about the products, go to products and services in the menu and then look things up accordingly there. Thank you, thank you, thank you till I see you again, Shannon and Liz and Jack.